Shalom, friends. I'm here in Shavet Shomron, just one week after a devastating fire. I'm here with Ohad Lipnik, who we told his story last week on Breaking Israel News and Israel 365. A very powerful story. Ohad has been through a lot. Ohad is the owner of this business, uh, which was a machinery business that you can see is just in ruins. And Ohad started the business nine years ago in this community of Shaveh Shomron. Shaveh Shomron means the return to Samaria. This Jewish community of 200 families was built upon the ancient biblical city of Samaria. And uh, the Jewish people came back here. But it hasn't been easy for the Jewish people. It hasn't been easy for Ohad. Ohad has gone through a lot. Even in recent years, Ohad was... Um, we have, we have, what is that noise in the background? Uh, fireworks. Fire, what? Fireworks. 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 We're right up against an Arab village, which is why the fire that here started from the Arab side of, uh, and it, it moved into this area very, very rapidly. Last week, there was very high flames. There was very strong winds. And in minutes, this business burnt to the ground. But Ohad's story goes even back before that. Ohad was in a terrible car accident a, week, a year and a half ago. Terrible. With his wife, with three, with three of their children, with four children. Unfortunately, two of his children were killed in the car accident, which is something as a, as a young father about the same age as you. I, I can't even imagine that. But they've rebuilt their lives. Ohad, you know, was telling me his wife was in a coma for several weeks, and she's still in rehabilitation. We, we pray for her continued recovery. And he was getting his life back on its feet again in his business here. It's a machinery business, and, and now look at it. Now look at it. Ohad, your story is so strong. Your story is so powerful. But you were telling me that that after everything you've been through, and you also were in, a, in an area that you, you lost your home before that, and you've been through so much, and you've had one week to sort of take in this, this tragedy, but your perspective on life, your outlook on life has changed, right? What were you telling me before about this fire, what this fire means to you. Yeah, you know, I was uh, like, uh, with my wife, we go in, uh, in uh, a medical uh, test for her in Petah uh, Tikva. And I have a text message, everyone in uh, this line of houses have to evacuate, they, they, they have a fire near the issue. Turn the car off because if they evacuating, uh, evacuating and there is a fire, probably this uh, the fire is here. And uh, until we we reached here, so, uh, we understood that uh, the workshop is uh, all burnt off. And, uh, so in, in, on the day, uh, in, it was hard on, uh, in this day, but uh, okay. You get to uh, to a point where okay, it's a uh, lot of uh, steel, lots of uh, material, but it's uh, steel and materials. You don't uh, mm. live with it forever. Mm -hmm. And uh, right, it's just things. It's just material. It's your business. It's not easy. You've been building up this business for a long time. It's not easy, but it's just things, right? Mm -hmm. It's interesting because we're here now in the three weeks between Shiva Sarbatamuz until Tisha B'Av, where the Jewish people are mourning for the Beit HaMikdash, the temple that was destroyed. And we have that same idea that we're mourning for the temple, but it was just a building, right? Uh, not so. It's a, it's a dream. It's not a, just a building. Like not this. just a building, but we say that we, as a Jewish people, will recover from the destruction of the Beit HaMikdash. And we know that in the future, we'll have another Beit HaMikdash. It will be better than the previous Beit HaMikdash. Yes. That's the lesson, I believe, of 
the ninth of Av, of the three weeks of this period, that the Jewish people, we've been through everything. We've been through destruction before. We've lost our temple, but we're going to rebuild. We, during this time period, we know that you're going to rebuild. There's Red Hashem that you'll, you're, you should just find comfort. And our readers, our donors, our community, really, really wants to provide comfort for the people of Israel. It means so much to them, it means so much to me to be able to, on their behalf, to help you get back on the ground in any way that we can. And you're explaining to me that you've lost all of your machinery and you have orders that are coming in that you need to fulfill. People have asked us, well, what about insurance? You know, this isn't, this isn't America. They don't always have insurance. There's not insurance here. Unfortunately, you don't have insurance here. And uh, everything you've invested over the last many years has been uh, on you, but we're going to help you. You've told me before that the most important machine that you need is a welding machine. Yes. And that's the welding machine that you lost? Yes, we have the several welding machines. You want to go over to it? Okay. telling me before that of all of the you've lost everything and even a tiny little piece of equipment could be very very expensive we're going to help you we're going to buy you a new machine so that you could start fulfilling your new orders right away and uh, maybe we'll be able to help you with more as well but uh, really thank you for everybody who contributed to this emergency fund thank you so much with your the comfort that you're bringing to the people of Israel means so much to them